All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are very close to the end. Are y'all ready to close this show out here with some energy? Welcome to the stage one more time. Give it up for Miss Kathy Mariotti. We're almost home, y'all. We're almost home. Has anybody mentioned how great Kevin is in stuff? And in everything. I mentioned it. <laughs> oh, goodness. I um, actually have another honor here. This man is a Screen Actors Guild award-winning actor for his performance as Ward Boss Neary in HBO's Boardwalk Empire. <clears throat> has carved out his own niche with frequent network series regular roles on Hill Street Blues, CBS's Blue Bloods, HBO's Oz, and of course, Boardwalk Empire. His motion picture work is equally impressive, winning multiple awards for his independent film work, The Crimson Mask, in addition to appearing in big budget Hollywood films, including his scene-stealing performance in Marvel's The Avengers, Across the Universe the interpreter, and the upcoming place beyond the pines opposite Bradley Cooper. When not on the screen, he performs on stage in a variety of roles and venues, from Broadway's Tony Award-winning production of Twelve Angry Men and Pal Joey, to Shakespeare festivals and prominent regional theaters. Besides continuing his reoccurring role as Lieutenant Grumley on Blue Bloods, he has racked up numerous Best Actor awards for his independent film work on Man from the City, and as Dorman O'Meeran on The Last Taxi Driver. Let's watch this tribute. three weeks late and Teddy is getting a little anxious about his money I know I know I I'm very sorry about that please tell Teddy that I'm doing everything I can and that he'll hear from me very soon yeah listen he's through playing games okay he wants his fucking money I'm not gonna make any waves is that what you said yeah that's what I said sergeant so why did I have to stand there with the captain from the 27 squad tell me how much he had to talk his detective out of going to the union with this come on Sarge that guy was a schmuck he said you accosted him Mr. Neary like a soft night in Wicklow isn't it I couldn't say I'm from Kerry ah the lofty peak of Carrington Hill Nobody else around here. Huh? You must be talking to me. <laughs> Major Blank. I need a perimeter as far back as 39th. Why the hell should I take orders from you? I need men in those buildings, leading people down and away from the streets. You got it. We're gonna set up a perimeter all the way down to 39th Street. Cross, come on. You pay too much for education to act so stupid. But I think it's the very fact that I do have an education like this that perhaps is the reason why I've thought about how restructuring the, the, the unit, um, the division, could actually benefit you, me. Cross, well. I, I appreciate your ambition. I really do. Uh, and uh, I think, you know, you, I think you're going to be a great cop. You are a great cop. You're a hero. But at this point, right now, you got to get back to real life. And in real life, you've got two choices. Which are? You can retire on disability. I don't want to do that. All right, good. I don't want you to do that either. Or you can be reassigned at your current rank. That's it. You got to work your way up. I'm so proud. So proud to present the Creative Achievement Award.
award to the wonderful, talented, amazing Robert Cloessi. Yeah. Thank you. <coughs> um, uh, oh, I got a high one. Got a high road. <coughs> um, I'd like to thank my mom um, because I come from nine brothers and sisters, and um, my mom raised us by herself. And um, I'm getting upset now. And. Um, she only went to seventh grade because her father was a hobo and she had to raise her five younger brothers and sisters. And so, um, I always thought, you know, if I ever won an award, I would um, thank my mom. And um, a couple of years ago, she left a message on my phone and I thought, there's my Oscar speech. And it went like this. Hello, Robbie, it's your mother, pick up. Are you there? Are you listening to me? Listen to me. I was in the kitchen cooking. I had the TV on. I don't know what channel or program but I heard your voice, and I thank God you had a job. <laughs> Me too, Ma. Me too. Thank you. Wow. Here we go for Mr. Robert Clohesse. Yes. That was an emotional story, emotional speech. Thank you, Robert, for sharing that with us. And also, thank you for sharing the clips of your early work in the good hair days. <laughs> had that little, uh, what's the lead singer for um, Queen thing happening? Freddie Mercury, he had that Freddie Mercury mustache. That was sexy. Oh, the young girls, Freddie Mercury. There was a group called Queen. And they just, oh my, never mind. Google them, okay. But great, great work, man. I've been a fan of your work. Obviously, you know, seeing you, you did, you work with um, Mr. Miyagi. Pat Marina, that's incredible, man. The journey of an actor is just incredible and watch it, get a chance to watch your old work just brings back such memories because I was home in the projects growing up watching those shows that you worked on. So big ups to you, man. Congratulations, it's been an honor to uh, meet you at these festivities, man. It's incredible, it's incredible. All right, so we are, we are very close, y'all. We're very close. Y'all got energy for a couple more and we out. We're on the last two pages, last two pages of the incredible script. So we're gonna take it home strong. We're gonna take it home strong. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's watch the clip for our Best Director Award. Best Director. What the fuck is going on here? It's three o'clock in the morning. I know. What, I call you? I, I leave messages, you don't call me back? How does it feel, Trish? <sighs> God, are you playing games with me, Dad? No. No, I'm not. Games are fun. And what the fuck does that mean? Being married to you is no fun. Best director, Suzanne Guachi for stuff. Give it up for Suzanne! Is Suzanne here? Did I mention I was in stuff? Did I? Did I mention I am one of the reasons she's even getting this award? And while she's making it to the stage, I just want to read a speech I spent months working on. I feel like I'm a fish in an aquarium. That, uh, take your time, my dear, take your time, my dear. You got a little injury. Give it up one more time for Best Director. Oh. Oh. 
Thank you so much. Anne and Henry, Deborah, everybody who voted for me for this. My goodness, you know, you know, Phyllis is here, and Phyllis is just so phenomenal. Uh, you know, I, I hit the jackpot when I got these women on board because it is a character-driven female story, and you know, to work with women that I have admired and appreciated their work for so long, like Karen Silas and Yvonne Young and Phyllis Somerville and Tracy Dinwiddie, my daughter, who is just a little gem at nine years old, who's so generous and such a directable little girl. And, and you know, I love my men, Kevin and Joe and Vincent and all the men in this film too, but this is a woman's tale. and. You know, to have the opportunity to actually have these women say my words and elevate the script beyond what was written. And I say thank you to all of you for making me look really, really good. So thank you so very, very much. Keep it going for our Best Director winner of the movie I was in. But I didn't get nominated didn't win anything for, didn't even get honorable mention. But I did write a speech, just in case y'all are. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we are literally, we're at the end of the next to last page. That's the, that's, what's that called, the martini? Which one is the martini? The next to last or the last one? Last. Okay, I don't work that much, so I don't remember that stuff. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, we're coming to the finish line. Our best short film nominee our best short film nominees are I always be amazed to find that someone sitting across from you would rather talk into this machine yeah. than look into your beautiful eyes. Gracias a Dios. Oh, oh. You're still puny, though. <laughs> oh, little man got me. It's not the pills. Oh, is the, today the assessment? We prefer to call it an update. Everyone just wants. Suspenseful moment. Apparently, everybody knew the winner except for me. Give it for our winner right here, y'all. Yeah, right. Representing our winner. Yeah, hi, I'm, I'm not the winner. My name is Mark Grodman. Uh, I'm oh. accepting this award on behalf of my son, Asher Grodman, who is the writer, director, and not the person who played Eli Wallach <laughs> in the film. This has been a uh, project of passion and love for him. I, I have to thank the Long Island, on his behalf, the Long Island Film Festival for this wonderful program and this incredible effort for so many people. And just maybe add one, two other quick comments. This was the last screen credited performance of Eli Wallach, who was a remarkable man, a remarkable storyteller. And having worked in this film, it was only after Eli passed away that Asher completed the film because he was so motivated by the inspiration that Eli provided for him. And the second part about it is the true story of Holocaust survivor, who, if you go to ashergrodman.com, you can go in and see a full copy of the film. It's a nine minute film only, but it talks about how someone's life changes, and it was about Andre Menz's life changed 
when going to a Holocaust camp, the train stopped and he ran off with his brother, leaving his mother and father on board. Andre lives only a few miles from here. And it was his story, the true story, that I told Asher that inspired this film. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, and congratulations on your son's behalf. Absolutely incredible story. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the moment we've all been waiting for, our Best Feature Film nominees. Have you handled many divorces? Oh, yeah, at least 1,100. Don't give me an exact number. This is, well, this is case 1,451. Wow. And I look at you, I still see a college kid with a keyboard. Teaching the little ones doing it for you, or are you still dreaming? Who plays music at our age? Yeah, really. Decided to adopt. What? I'm 39 years old. Nobody wants these eggs anymore. Besides, I'm sick of men controlling my life. Thank you, Life. Uh, this is a surprise. <laughs> um, I, I want to say thank you to my director and everybody on the cast and crew. Um, this is our last film festival, and I'm very proud to be a part of it. <laughs> thank you, Deborah. Thank you, everybody here at Life. Um, we're having, a, if you missed it here, we're having a theatrical run in New York City. I appreciate everything that you do for independent film because I know you know how hard it is, and. Um, Thank you. If you didn't see us here, come see us in New York uh, for a week late September. Thank you. Congratulations, my friend. You said it was a surprise. You went up against stuff, so I'm surprised you won, too. Did I mention I was in stuff, everybody? Didn't get nominated, though. Didn't even get honorable mention. And then David Dance got the nerve to come beat us. I'm so, I'm so surprised, David. <laughs> no, congratulations, David Dance. Congratulations to everyone who was nominated. Congratulations to all our filmmakers, all our winners, all our special guests and honorees. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of our awards. Give it up for yourselves for being so patient with us and with me. Thank you for joining us here tonight. Please join us next door at our after party. And you have something you want to say? I do. For all those that were nominated, please see Cheryl. She has all the nomination certificates for anybody that was nominated tonight. Do your Vanna White thing. Okay. And for those of you that weren't nominated like me, please see me on the side. We can take a selfie of losers. I think I have a sticky note or something with your name on it. We could take a group selfie of people that weren't even mentioned. But I was in stuff, by the way, coming to a theater near you. No, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Mr. Asner, it was an honor. It was a pleasure to meet you and see you. And I hope to take some of those millions you have playing Texas Hold'em. We'll donate it to charity or something, though. <laughs> Forget the after party is next door. After at the party lounge. next door at the lounge. We'll be taking pictures. 
All the filmmakers, come up and get your certificate. Next door, we're taking pictures and selfies and autographs, and we're hugging Ed Asner. We're dancing with Kathy Moriarty. Next door, right next door, right next door.